Happy Information Wednesday, Shalise McQueen here. For my teaser video, I want to discuss some five important factors to consider when making a first-time life insurance purchase. This also may, may be a great refresher for those of you who've had an existing policy for a while, because more than likely your needs have changed from that initial um, inception of that policy and also your budget. So it's always important to not just have a one-time purchase and leave policy, you want to make sure that you're auditing this on a regular basis like any other insurance policy that you have. Number one is a two-parter. The first being who are you protecting, which obviously is an easy no-brainer um, answer to your question, but number two is what are you protecting? You should be taking consideration any of your assets and of course also liabilities such as debt. Number two, it's important to consider what your needs are and, of course, how that works and fits in with your budget. They don't typically go hand in hand sometimes, and so it's important to have an agent on your side that can walk you through how to determine what those needs are. You may have immediate needs and also future needs, and then, of course, how that's going to work with your budget, and we have different policies to take in consideration for that. For example, a term policy is a great option for someone because you usually get a much higher face amount for a lower premium because it is a term policy, meaning it has you know, in theory, an expiration date of a 10, 20, or 30 year term. But that's where I'm gonna come into play and walk you through exactly what both of those scenarios look like. Number three kind of goes back to number one, the who. Who are your beneficiaries that you're looking to have the, the proceeds benefit? It, whether it's a charity, it could be a business. If it is a minor, you wanted to have some subsequent system set up, such as a trust that the proceeds can be into and distribute accordingly throughout the, you know, the minor's life and then maybe a larger sum when they turn of age. That's something I also can help advise you on. I have great trust attorneys and other uh, CPAs, accountants that are financial planners, all of those. So again, it's important to have a network on your side and have someone walk you through what all these scenarios look like and what you need to consider. Number four, it's really important to consider who you are actually buying your policy from, not only on an agent level, but also, of course, the company itself, who's underwriting that, that policy. How long have they been in business for? How many claims have they paid out? What kind of pockets do they have? Because obviously, we see advertisements all the time for life insurance you know, that are just pennies on a dollar. And the reality is a lot of these are not reputable companies and more than likely may not be there and when you have to actually cash in this policy. And then the agent matters too. You want to have someone that's experienced, like I mentioned, to walk you through what your need analysis is, any other advice, and how to, of course, figure out what the best policy is for you. And number five, you don't want to just consider what your immediate needs are if you were to happen to pass tomorrow. You want to take into consideration the future. You know, what will the needs be in five or 10 years? You want to leave education, education expenses paid for your, for your children. What does this look like for you? And again, this is where I come in to help you determine what your current liabilities, assets, needs, desires are, and how that plays into the future. Because life insurance is not only obviously protection, it's a legacy builder. It's leaving behind a legacy and not a burden. And a lot of people don't consider that when it comes to not having life insurance, what you're actually leaving behind. And so it's important to have the, not only the protection, but again, just a future conversation and peace of mind for those that you love. As always, I'm here to be a resource for you. You can give me a call at 602-525-5665. And as always, remember that life insurance is not a luxury, it's a necessity. Are you protected? We'll see you next week.